Today I'm going to walk you through the fastest mobility routine that you can do, but honestly you do this every single day, first thing in the morning, it's going to help break up scar tissue, it's going to help you from being as sore and it's also going to help mobilize your joints. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get used to sitting on our feet like this. And we're going to hold each stretch for about five seconds. So what I do is I sit back here, I often lean back, put as much pressure in here. So we go five, four, three, two, one. Good. Then we bring our hands to the ground. We tuck our toes underneath. So we're stretching out the feet here. Now what you want to do is you just want to put all the weight into the toes. And again, you're just rocking forward and back. And we're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Good. From here, we're going to pop the hips up. Okay. We're going to stretch out those calves, drive the hips up, push your head all the way through, feel that stretch in the back of the calves. You're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Good. You're going to pop down onto your knees. You're going to bring your right leg forward as far as you can shift your left leg back and have your foot flat on the floor in the back. Now what you want to do is have this bent to 90. You want to take your elbow and you want to try and sink down for five, four, three, two, you're going to feel that stretch into the hips, into here. From there, all you got to do is shimmy this foot out and we're going to work the inner groin. So you're going to push that leg out for five, four, three, two, one. We're going to stay in this position, but all you're going to do is slide this foot straight out. Okay. Point that toe up. Now we're into that front split and you're going to rock side to side. Okay. Side to side for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now from here, all you got to do is transition. You can start on your knees and we're going to pop into that split. Okay. So hands down. If you need a little bit extra support, feet nice and wide and just open it up and sit back as far as you can for five, four, three, two. Good. We're going to pop back down onto the knees and we're going to go opposite now. So we're going to slide this leg forward, get that hip flexor and hamstring, make sure that back foot is down. So you see how my toes are down back there. And we're rocking side to side just to work the different parts of the hamstring and the hip flexor. So four, three, two, same position, but this time slide that foot up, shimmy the foot out to the side as far as you can. Take that left hand and push that left knee out where you should feel that is high into the hip. So you're just going to push out for five, four, three, two, good. Slide that foot in a little bit more so we can get a straight angle here. This time you're going to sink down into that hip and try to sink that elbow right to the ground if you can. Get that elbow to the ankle for five, four, three, two, good. Last one here, we're going to go knees wide, slide the hands out. We're going to open up those lats for five, four, three, two, and then we're going to transition to our back for the very last exercise. You're going to lay on your back. You're going to bring this knee up. So right knee goes up, comes across the body. This right hand palm up. You're looking up towards the ceiling. This one, you got to take a couple deep breaths for five, four, bring that left knee to, or right knee to the floor, three, two. And then what I want you to do is just to kick it out once to stretch out that IP T band, four, three, two, good. Now the other side. So you bring that left knee in, drop the right leg to the floor, left knee goes across the body. You're going to use your right hand to pull that left knee to the floor. You're going to feel that stretch into your low back and your glute for five, four, three, two, and then kick that leg out straight so you feel that stretch all at the side of the thigh for five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's get to the standing portion. Now that we've finished the floor component, focusing on the lower body and into the hips, we're going to get into that upper body two stretches. The first stretch is a pec stretch. So you want to get your left hand onto here and all you need is just a door wedge so that you can sink your body forward into that chest, into that hand. And you want to have that same side leg back so we can get the hip flexor as well. So we're focusing on the pec, the front of your chest and leaning forward into that. So you hold it for five, four, three, two, other side. So all you do is you pivot, drop the right leg back, right hand is on the wall, sink for five, four, three, two, good. Now the doorway, take your right hand, put it up top. Now you got to press that right foot. So I'm on the outside of my right right foot and all I'm doing is bringing this hip down and then just using this as a stability point so I can keep my hand as high as I can and stretch and reach. Where you should feel that is all the side of the hip. Okay. So five, four, three, two, other side. So left hand goes up on the wall, left leg comes down and around again on the outside of that foot, my left foot. Okay. And all I'm doing is just reaching for five, four, three, two, 
One. All right, now we're gonna transition to the bed or couch, whatever you got to use as leverage. Now the last three stretches of this component are all for the lower body. You can use a couch, you can use your bed. I find the bed works the best because it has a nice soft cushion at the top. So the first one, we're just gonna stretch more into the caps, okay? So you're gonna take your right foot, you're gonna push it back as far as you can, and then just wedge your, wedge your heel, push down, feel that stretch into the ankle, into the calves for five, four, three, two, switch. Five, four, three, two, and done. Now we're gonna get that hip. So all you do is bring that foot on top of the bed. And what you wanna try doing is getting this leg nice and flat and parallel with the, with the bench. And you're gonna sink down for five, four, feeling that right in here. Three, two, and then we gotta get the other side. So you just get one foot down, bring this foot up, try to sink it down here, okay? And you're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, and the last stretch right here is one of the best for your tight thighs or if you got any knee problems, okay? So you're just gonna hook your foot. Again, the higher the bench, the easier this actually gets. So this is a lower bench, and there's, you can use something for stabilization. All you're gonna do is hook the flat part of the foot on top, and all you're gonna do is sink down. Right away, you should feel that stretch, and then all you're gonna do is sit back and try to drop that leg so it's flat on here. You're gonna feel that all through the front of the thigh for five, four, three, two, good. Other side. Plant that foot, and as you get better at this, and as you do it more, you're gonna build up that stability. So you just slide that foot so you can feel that shin pressed up against there. Drop that leg, sink it down for five, four, three, two, one. So pass through each one of those exercises. Five seconds is all you need. It's just a quick mobility. Do it first thing in the morning, or last thing at night, or middle of the day, whenever you have the time, but make sure you get it done once per day. Enjoy.